Hey, it's Cornell from rockclimbtips.com. Now, one of the questions I get asked most often from climbers is, what kind of exercises can I do at home to make me a better climber? Now, most of us don't have a full-blown gym at home, and a lot of us don't want to go to a weightlifting gym on top of going to a rock climbing gym. So what I did for you is got you the person that I go to for all my strength building, muscle building questions. And now he is a graduate of our peak climbing program. He's a 512, 513 climber. He's won the first tournament he's ever competed in. And frankly, when you see Conrad, you'll right away trust that he does know a thing or two about building muscle and building strength. So in this first video, Conrad's going to show you how to improve your pull-up strength in climbing. Pull-up strength is absolutely critical in climbing in numerous situations. First, it can help you launch that extra distance when doing a dyno. But most often, it can give you that extra lift you need to get to that next hold. Now, if you've watched the premium lessons and the peak climbing program, you'll know that you're supposed to lift with your legs instead of your arms whenever possible. But you'll notice once you start getting to the more difficult routes that there will be many times where you simply can't lift with your legs any further and have no choice but to lift your body weight using your upper body strength. So to help you strengthen those muscles to get you to that next hold, here's Conrad Schreiber. All right, so we know that pull-ups are a great exercise that can help strengthen your back and help improve your climbing. But what if you can't do a pull-up? Or what if you don't have a pull-up bar to do a pull-up on? Well, what we're gonna do is show you how to do a pull-up or how to strengthen your back so you can do a pull-up. And also show you how you can do pull-ups on just about anything. Because you can do them on stairs, trees, beams, anything really. And if you already know how to do a pull-up, we're gonna teach you different variations so you can still build that back strength and improve your climbing even more. Here we're showing you how you can do pull-ups around the house. You can do them on things like staircases, banisters, handrails, things like that. And when you are doing these kind of exercises, be very careful of your surroundings because if you are doing them over something like a staircase, it is easy to slip out and fall and twist an ankle or hurt yourself in some other way. So just be very conscious of your surroundings and don't put yourself in a dangerous place. And if you do have a pull-up bar, always feel free to use that as it is meant for doing pull-ups. So that will always be the best choice. One common mistake that people make when training on pull-ups is they pull more with their arms than their back. A way to prevent this from happening is to use an overhand grip like this when you're doing the pull-up. And also try to focus on pulling back with your elbows and so that your shoulder blades touch when you finish that pulling motion. Here we're showing you negative pull-ups. Negative pull-ups are what you're gonna wanna do if you can't even do a pull-up. And what a negative pull-up is, it's just the downward motion of the pull-up. And how you're gonna wanna do these is to position yourself in a way that your chin is above your hands or the bar and then slowly lower yourself down to the ground, really focusing and squeezing that back muscle the entire time. And what this is gonna do is really stimulate that back muscle and let it to grow. Now you're gonna wanna do negative pull-ups in 10 reps for three sets, taking you at least a minute break in between. All right, so another problem that you might have with pull-ups is when doing, or with doing the negatives for pull-ups, is you might find yourself just straight up falling down when you're trying to do the negative because you don't have the strength to slowly let yourself down. So a way to avoid that, or a way to improve from that, is to do assisted negative pull-ups. And by doing that, you need to implement something to use your leg on. And what you can do is on the way down, you use your leg as a support to slowly lower yourself. And that will help tear those muscle fibers and increase muscle mass and strength. So on the way down, you're gonna wanna use your foot to just lightly tap whenever you feel yourself slipping out a little bit. 
All right, once you start finding that negative pull-ups are becoming much easier and you have a lot of control on the way down, it's, start, it's time to start doing pull-ups. Uh, and now when you do pull-ups, you're gonna wanna do them in 10 reps with three sets, taking a minute break in between. Now you can always adjust those numbers to whatever you're at, but that is a good general structure to follow. Also, if pull-ups start becoming too easy, you can start implementing additional weight or implementing new techniques, which we're gonna be showing you later. As pull-ups start becoming easier and you hit that 10 reps for three sets mark, you're gonna start wanting to use a more advanced technique to improve your pull-ups and back strength. And how you can do this is by engaging your core. To engage your core while you're doing pull-ups, you're gonna to wanna to raise your legs up. And the most difficult way is to keep your legs completely straight and form a 90 degree angle with your body and hold that position as you do the pull-ups. And then another way of implementing an even more difficult pull-up is by starting to remove fingers as you do pull-ups. So what you can do is have a full hand grip with one hand and then have three or two fingers on the other and do pull-ups that way. And make sure you swap from hand to hand so that you get the same amount of reps on each hand while using the same amount of fingers. All right, that's it. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Also, subscribe if you want to learn more about climbing and training. We're going to be releasing a lot of new videos in the future, so stay tuned.